Hello again. I'm a simple and unsophisticated man, as viewers perhaps have observed for themselves. During the course of the summer, I watched statues being thrown in harbours and police officers being threatened and assaulted. All because Black Lives Matter. I was quite at a loss to see how any of this was likely to save any black lives. That, after all, was what it was all about. Black lives matter, we were told. This is undeniably true, but how defacing a statue of Winston Churchill or setting fire to a Union Jack would save anybody's life, I simply cannot see. It's probably me being dim. I just don't get it. Of course, there are very simple ways that black people could save lives of black people if they were so minded to do so. I don't know how many black people die at the hands of racist police officers in the United Kingdom each year, but it must surely be fewer than one a year on average. Every black death connected, however loosely with the police, is widely publicised. There hasn't been such a case for over a year. I will guess that maybe every two or three years something like that might happen. What actually takes black lives, if not the police? Well, around 14,000 people in Britain, black people that is, suffer from sickle cell disease. This causes desperately d distressing episodes known as sickle crises, and these can result in blindness, disability and death. Uh, I might mention here that children suffer from sickle cell as well. Treating these episodes and saving lives can best be done by transfusions of healthy blood. Despite the popular myth that there's no difference between black body parts and blood and those of white people, there are very real differences often. Um, generally speaking, white people need transfusions of blood from other white people and the same applies to black people. There is though a terrible shortage of black blood donors and organ donors. The NHS is currently appealing for 5,000 black people to come and donate blood in London and Birmingham as it's unable to carry out transfusions in those cities to alleviate the sufferings of people with sickle cell. If a few of those people worrying about Cecil Rhodes' statue in Oxford or similar nonsense would just roll up their sleeves and give blood, then this might be a way of showing that black lives really do matter. White people are twice as likely in the United Kingdom to donate the organs of a dead relative as are black people. This means that black people on kidney dialysis, waiting for a kidney transplant, wait twice as long as white people. Some die while they are waiting. Do you think that donating a kidney from a dead relative might save a black life? Why are black people so reluctant to do this? Instead of creating disorder over things which might have happened hundreds of years ago, I urge those who really think that black lives matter to take concrete steps to show that they believe this to be so.